Well, folks, I came down here to watch John and Jan put their boat in. Well, I'm just over here. I'm just walking to the bridge you cross to go into the campground itself. The main portion of the campground. And this bridge, there's John out there trolling. It, you may be able to hear it. But that's the sound of the water going over the dam underneath this bridge. Now this is downstream of the bridge. It's a nice pool in here. I might try to do a little fishing in here. The water's actually low right now. You can see out there, there's little bit of a sandbar showing and you can see the shoreline you can see where the water line is, is and that's where the reeds are you can usually not even see that sand so it's down it looks like it's down about four inches now I'm gonna go down around here doggone it I don't have my hiking stick with but um, if I had my hiking stick with, it looks like I could recover myself some fishing gear. There's a float right there. I'm gonna see if there's a stick around that I can use to recover that. That happens quite often. I'm looking for a stick. And I think I found one. Crawl in the woods here a little bit. There we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to recover myself a fishing rig here. Got to be careful I don't step off and fall in the darn creek. Oh boy. Yep, they got it hung up pretty good. Got it wrapped around the stick. If I can get it wrapped around enough. There we go. There we go. Got myself a nice float. Got some fish in line out of the water. That's good. If it wasn't such a pain in the neck, I'd bring the kayak down here, put it in right over there. And right over there towards the end of my stick, on the other side of that little sandbar, there's another float and rig stuck back in there. If I had the kayak in here, I could paddle over there and get it. But so often, people, they fish too tight up against the shoreline here, and they get hung up, and they break their line, and they lose their float. And the float will drift off into this little pool area, or it heads downstream. Now I could put the kayak in and probably go downstream and recover four or five floats. There's my daily hiker. This That fella shows up every day and he hikes the back portion of the, of the Black Lake Trail. Put this float. Put this float and this line in my pocket. There we go. That's a, another piece of fishing gear that I don't have to purchase. That someone didn't take the time or have the patience. It wasn't that hard to recover out of there. Um, but 
for some folks, eh, they don't care. No need to recover it. I'll just replace it. They're lost, my gain. Well, there you go. I just wanted to come down and you can see the water pouring over the dam there. And I'm working my way back out up here to the road. Our little camp road, heading up into camp. Heading out of camp. Little single lane bridge. It, it sure is nice here. Black Lake is a sweet, sweet campground. Yeah, I think I'll come down here, do a little fishing, and right up there is the host campsite. That's where Destination Great Lakes sets up their camp and does their hosting from. We're going to cut across, go up the back trail to their campsite, because the truck is right over there, so we can cut through the their campsite to the truck this time of year because after Labor Day the hosts wrap it up and they call it a season okay yeah this is their campsite the forest service storage shed for the host the host will store their a bunch of their equipment in there generator and a few other items this time of year actually it's empty it's locked up so people aren't in and out of it but um, you know how people can be there's a stump here but you never see that when they're in here camping because their trailer they back their trailer right up almost where the axle is almost to that stump. You don't even see it. Their trailer's over the top of it. Well, they left a little bit of camp wood for folks to come in here for day use. <coughs> yep, and I may come down here and fish a little off of this bank here. Right over there, there's a nice open spot. And right in here, close to that tree, you gotta deal with some weeds, but a lot of perch, love to hang out right in here. So I might fish this spot. Looking way out over the lake. Let's see. I don't know if you can make it out or not, but way over the lake right there, there's John with his boat. <laughs> trolling over to his campsite in fact he's right out from his campsite there yeah he should be turning in towards land here pretty soon <laughs> hopefully you can find the spot right at his campsite um because you can't see the water access at that campsite well and unless you really recognize it you might go right past it. He'll get, he'll find his way. Jan will be on the shore yelling at him, get over here. Now the host site here is not available to camp. See, it says right there, no camping here. It's not available for people to camp during the off season. It's only available for the host and it can be used for day use. There's a barbecue over here. There's a picnic table, another barbecue over there. And you can come in and use it for day use, but you cannot camp in that site. So there you go, folks. Just a little walk around. I got a vehicle going by. Actually, that's one of the couple of campers we have. They must have run into town or something and they're heading back out to their campsite. We only have myself, 
we've got John and Jan and two other campsites. So there's four campsites in use out of the 29 campsites here. So it's very quiet, very quiet. Thanks for taking along, guys. Hey, if you're new to the channel, check out all the videos. A lot of videos about Black Lake. Um, love you guys. Subscribe. Ring the bell. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment. Love you. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>